Thanks for joining us here on Denver 7 News at 10. I'm Gary Brode and I'm Jacqueline Allen. Timing has been everything in the last year. We've already been through three waves of this pandemic and now Governor Polis says we're in the fourth. And despite that, the state is about to give more counties more control. So here's what's happening this Friday. Essentially, the state's COVID-19 dial is being handed over to county health departments so they can determine when more restrictions need to be in place. And now the question is, will counties just decide to open up or will they keep some of those restrictions? Denver 7's Lance Hernandez begins our, our coverage tonight with the plan that Tri-County Health is already putting in place. My restaurant on a Sunday used to be packed. Now I look at it and I, I just, it's hard. The owner of Bravo's Italian restaurant can't wait to open up 100%. He blames the governor for a huge drop in business. People are scared to go out still because of what he talks about. The governor now giving counties control over the COVID dial. We want to get open as quick as we can, but we think next Friday's a little early. Dr. John Douglas says Tri-County Health is simplifying it into two phases. Phase one, beginning April 16th, extends the current dial one month and moves all counties up one level, essentially from yellow to blue. That means 100% capacity with six feet spacing. The idea of the phase two is just a fancy way of saying we're going to observe what's happening. During the three month observation period, if the county's 14 day rolling hospitalization rate exceeds two per 100,000, they move back to blue. If it exceeds three, they move back to yellow, four orange, five and above, red. Once you're in phase one, you're good to go for the whole month. We really hope hospitalization doesn't get worse because we've said we're not going to move you even if your rates do get worse. We get the reason? Because vaccination rates are going up. I think 100% opening up is, is a good thing. You don't think it's too early? I don't believe it is. I hear those questions. Are we moving too fast? Frankly, I hear even more loudly, are we moving too slow? Dr. Douglas says Tri-County is in the Goldilocks spot between too early and too slow. At Bravo, Lombardi's mom says they're ready for the bump back up to 100%. Yes, we are. We are all ready to go. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. And one of the main reasons Governor Polis believes we can move forward with giving counties control is because vaccine numbers continue to climb in Colorado. More than 2 million have received their first dose in our state and just under 1.3 million have already been fully vaccinated. This week, FEMA will take over the vaccination site at the state fairgrounds in hopes to keep vaccinations moving quickly. Tomorrow, 140 Fort Carson soldiers will head to the sites to help with the transition.